In Prime Infrastructure, on the Inventory menu, click Software Images. The Software Images page opens. To determine whether the imported image has the minimum requirements configured, under Useful Links, click the Software Image Repository link. The Software Image Summary page opens and lists all of the images that are available. To open the image details, click the Images File Name link. The image information page opens. In this case, the header populated the minimum RAM and flash memory requirements. Next, to determine that the devices that you need to upgrade meet the minimum requirements, you perform an upgrade analysis. To continue, in the name path, click Software Image Summary. And then, in the name path, click Software Images. The system returns you to the Software Images page. To perform the upgrade analysis, under Useful Links, click the Upgrade Analysis link. The Upgrade Analysis dialog box opens. On the Image Source page, select the image's current location. Because the image is in the repository, accept the system default selection. To continue, click 2 Device Selection. In the Device Selection list, expand a category and select the devices that you plan to upgrade. To continue, click 3 Image Selection. The image selection page opens and lists the images that are available in the location that you selected. In the list, select the image that you need to distribute and activate. And then, click Run Report. The system generates the report and opens the results in the Upgrade Analysis Report dialog box. The report indicates each device's current running image and the RAM and flash memory space that is required for distribution and the amount of space that is available on each device. When you finish your review, click Close. With Analysis complete, in the Upgrade Analysis Report dialog box, click Cancel. To distribute and activate an image in a single task, click the Distribute icon. The Distribute Images dialog box opens. The image selection page lists all of the images that are available in the repository. In the list, select the image that you need to distribute and activate. To continue, click 2 Device Selection. The Device Selection page opens and lists the network devices that are eligible to receive the image. Expand a category and select the device or devices to which you need the system to distribute the software image. As you select each device, the system automatically verifies that the device can accept the distribution and then selects each device checkbox. To continue, click 3 Distribute Image. To confirm the image distribution and devices to upgrade, the page lists each device that you selected and the image that you selected for distribution. Note, when the system does not indicate the correct distribution location or image source, you can change that information. Because you are distributing the image by using Prime Infrastructure, the list indicates local file server in the external servers column. To continue, click 4 Image Deployment. The Image Deployment Options page opens. Important note, an administrator can configure global settings that define enterprise preferences for device upgrades. The settings that you apply here override the global settings that administrators have defined. To archive the current running image before the upgrade, select the Backup Current Image checkbox. To help ensure that there is enough space available in each device's flash memory, to distribute the image, select the Erase Flash Before Distribution checkbox. To activate the image after distribution, select the Insert Boot Command checkbox. Then, in the Activate drop-down list, 
select the method by which the system reboots the devices. To allow the activation process to continue, when an image fails to activate on a single device, accept the default selection of the Continue on Failure checkbox. To continue, click 5 Schedule Distribution. On the Schedule Distribution page, in the Job Name field, type a descriptive name for the Swin distribution job. In the Start Time row, indicate when you want image distribution and activation to occur. In this case, you want the upgrade to occur immediately. To start the job, click Submit. The dialog box closes and a system message opens, confirming that you have scheduled the Swin distribution job. To display the job, refresh the list. To monitor the job, as it progresses, in the Status column, point to the information icon beside the status. The Job Summary pop-up window opens, and provides an overview of the job's progress. When the job completes image distribution, it immediately starts the activation process. When the swim distribution job is complete, including activating the images, the system indicates the job result, in the Status column. To validate that the job was successful, review the result. To review job details, open the Job Summary pop-up window. The pop-up window provides an overview of the final job results. To review the results at a device level, you can click Job Detail View. Note, the Job Detail View is particularly helpful when evaluating partial success and failure results. To validate that the image that you activated is running on a specific device, navigate to the Network Devices page. In the list, locate and click an upgraded device's name link. The system opens detailed information about the device. Click the Image tab. The page displays the current running image on the device. You successfully upgraded the software image on a small number of devices by using Prime Infrastructure.